the first issue now, whatever you agree or disagree, humans are natural born essentialists. I can give you an example to everything. First, you are uh, you love the um, artist Picasso, and you get his painting. It's very good thing, right? But if you know that painting is a fake, you will you know maybe throw it. Thus, evidence the humans are natural born essentialists. And then, Mister Neil, we don't just respond to things as we say them, or we feel them, or we hear them. Our response is provided by our beliefs about what they coming from, um, what they had the natural is. So, here I get, give you an example. The most, um, how do you how do you make the people drink the cheap wine? and make them feel the cheap wine is very delicious. The most effective way is make the cheap wine into an expensive bottle. Because into, if, if the cheap wine into an expensive bottle, you will think that wine is an expensive wine. And your mind will make you think that wine is a very good thing. Um, that's very true. Because most of people think the everyday wine is better than the cheap one, right? And in our daily life, many people don't like to eat vegetables. So, how do, they, how do we make them to eat it? We can make them to eat the vegetable in the Michelin star restaurant. Um, because eating in an upscale restaurant can lift up people's state. And, you know, most of people will think the Michelin's food is always better than the normal one. Right? <laughs> Um, as a result, we have different feelings toward different things. These feelings toward the things can across our mind change to make us, you know, happy or sad. Um, last but not least, how does um, how the way we believe of us things does matter our feelings. Thank you much.